Overview of Las Vegas Real Estate Market 2016, Las Vegas Homes. In this video, we will discuss several issues. One, our big problem with a 6.4% median sales price gain for Greater Las Vegas single family homes, as reported by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, GLVAR, which is used by news organizations. Our calculated median price gain for 2015 is 9.4% to 10.1%, depending on how we take the data. Two, we will show the correct monthly median sales prices and sold units per month. Three, we will discuss the issues affecting the Las Vegas housing market in 2016, including the chronic tight inventory of available homes for sale and the effect of Las Vegas short sales and foreclosures on the housing market. We will give you an overview of the Las Vegas housing market in 2016. The majority of prospective Greater Las Vegas home or condo buyers or sellers get their Las Vegas real estate housing market information from news organizations, which can be very inaccurate and at times downright misleading. If you see a news article about Greater Las Vegas housing, you will see some variation of the following, which is from the Las Vegas Sun newspaper dated January 8, 2016. It states that single-family homes sold for a median $217,000 in Southern Nevada last month, down 1.4% from November, but up 6.4% from a year earlier, according to the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. Here are the reasons for this. As you see in the Las Vegas Sun article, they use the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, or GLVAR's data, which covers Southern Nevada and not just the Greater Las Vegas Valley as we do. So our statistics are a bit different. This table shows the Greater Las Vegas Realtor Association's median sales prices for Southern Nevada in red and our Greater Las Vegas only median sales prices in blue. The GLVAR uses a point-to-point -point data method, which means using the data for a particular month in two consecutive years and calculating the median price gains for the year, which we do not agree with. Our median price table shows that we start 2015 with the median price for single-family homes, standing at $200,000 in January and ending at $219,300 in December, for the 9.6% median price appreciation for 2015. The median sales prices have been hovering between $219,000 and $221,500 for the past six months, which is pretty flat. But then again, we had the six months of flat pricing in 2014 before the price hikes in the first six months of 2015. The other factor is using point-to-point -point data in their calculations and we will use GLVAR's data here. According to the GLVAR, the median price for Southern Nevada in December 2015 was 217000 and the same for December 2014 was 204000 So the point-to-point -point gain is 6.4%, which is mathematically correct but highly misleading. It took some time to write and record this video, and January 2016 median sales price for Greater Las Vegas Homes came at $220,000, which fully supports our argument. This graph shows GLVAR's median sales prices for the past two years, and it is easy to see that it hovered within 2% of 200000 for seven months, from July 2014 to the end of January 2015, for the average median price of $200,425. So it is acceptable to assume the median price of $200,000 for this period. Same for 2015. The median sales price of Las Vegas homes for June 2015 to December 2015 has been hovering within 1.5% of $220,000, with the median price standing at $220,000 for five out of seven months. The average median price for this period, according to the GLDAR, is $219,286, so the median price appreciation for these two periods is 9.4% and far more accurate than 6.4%. However, our median price for the same period in 2015 averages out at $220,185, which shows a 10.1% median price gain for 2015. 
This is not taken as point-to-point -point data and is far more accurate than 6.4%. Using month-to-month -month data points, January 2015 median sales price was $200,000 and the same in 2016 is $220,000, so the yearly price gain jumps from 6.4% to 10% in a month. This is just wrong. The difference between the GLDAR median price gain and ours is more than 50%, which makes a huge difference when deciding to buy, sell, or invest in Las Vegas homes or not. One must keep in mind that market activity represents accepted offers for a particular month, and it takes time for deals to close. So the December median sales price is mainly influenced by accepted offers in November and October. This chart shows our median sales price for 2015, and there were three distinct jumps in the median sales prices. The first was an $8,250 increase in February from January to $208,250. The second increase was in April to $215,000, and the third time was in June. As you can see in this graph, both sales and median prices went up in 2015, and each price hike corresponds with increasing sales numbers. Given the market activity of 2015, and especially that 2,679 homes sold in December 2015, which is up 35.8% from November and 20.4% higher than December 2014, we do not see any immediate slowdown in market activity. Let's talk about the chronic tight inventory of homes for sale. The inventory of homes that are not under contract has fluctuated between 7,700 to 8,700 units per month in 2015. The average number of homes sold in Greater Las Vegas was 2,445 per month. This is about 3.5 months of inventory. Six months inventory is considered normal. This chart shows active listings that are not under contract and sold units for the past two years, and both years ended with near 10% appreciation. Effect of short sales and foreclosures. The effect of short sales and foreclosures are minimal due to their low shares of the current market and their pricing. With the exception of March, the number of foreclosure home listings sold has been less than 300. Short sales sold have been about 250 homes per month and going down. This graph shows a two-year history of slumping distressed home sales versus the non-distressed traditional sales. The market share of short sales fell to 6.8% of the market in December, down from 10% a year earlier. Another 6.9% of sales were bank-owned, down from 8% a year ago. So much for the myth of the tsunami of foreclosures that some have been pre predicting since 2011, which we crushed in a four-part blog post back then. Additionally, the discounts gained through buying foreclosures or short sales is minimal, as it is very difficult to gain 10% or more discount from non-distressed comparable homes. Add up the low market share and minimal discount, and the effect of distressed sales is minimal in the current Las Vegas real estate market. Let's talk about Las Vegas real estate market psychology. Prospective greater Las Vegas home sellers, including banks, have seen four years of near double-digit price appreciations, and many believe that the same will happen for 2016. So those who can wait to sell their homes, including banks, do so, and those who can't add a premium for future appreciation to the asking sales price. This is the reason for chronic tight supply and unwillingness to sell at a discount. This will go on until we see a few months of depreciating prices. Overview of 2016 Greater Las Vegas Housing Market in addition to the above, we have not discussed two other factors yet, and they are the ratio of sales price to asking list price, which has been at or higher than 98%, and median days on the market, which has been less than 40 days for the past 10 months. This points to strong market activity in 2016 and further appreciating prices. Now you may ask how much. Our answer is only God knows and we don't. However, 6% price gain or higher in 2016 is more probable than not. If you want to buy, sell, or invest in Las Vegas, Henderson, or North Las Vegas homes, condos, or townhomes in the immediate future, please call us at 
1-800-242-4917. Please like and share if you find this information useful and subscribe to our Las Vegas Real Estate channel for upcoming videos. On behalf of the Sauber team, this is Karen Sauberzade of Realty One Group and www.lasvegasforus.com wishing you a great day.